Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have a link in, guys, any link in, and you have a code P0010, stay with us, guys. We'll explain how to do that. Quick introduction, guys. We have more than 200 videos on a link in, guys, and more than 200 videos made on every car we get at the shop. Our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's start on it now. So this is guys a scanner that we'll be using, very cheap scanner guys, you can find it listed in the description of the video below, we'll have the link. Uh, I'll go ahead and start the car, show you how it's, uh, uh, we have the engine light on. Now, sometimes you cannot even tell that uh, unless the engine light is on, uh, you will not feel so much loss of power or anything like that having that code. But it definitely affects the engine and emissions guys as well, so definitely have to take care of it because you're polluting more, the car is using more fuel as well, it's not as efficient. So, I'll go ahead, start it now. Okay, and check out the engine light will just stay on, all the time. Okay, so, I'll go ahead, turn the engine off, turn the ignition on. Next guys, scanner is connected already to the OBD port. We'll click OBD. Okay, it's going to establish communication. Almost there now. It says one code found. It's connecting now. We'll click read codes. Now we're going to cl uh, click stored codes. We get P0010, A camshaft position actuator, circuit open bank 1. We'll explain where bank 1 is and what that is as well. Now, I always go back to click pending codes because you might get another code there that's not showing yet. But no, that's the same thing, P0010. So, let's go ahead, turn the car off guys and I'll show you now, okay, uh, what causes that code and how to fix it. So it doesn't matter guys if you have a link in MKS, MKT, MKX, MKZ guys, uh, most of them will use only just a few engines and that's a 3.5 engine, if you have a 3.7 we'll explain as well. Uh, 3.5 guys, okay that's used on Ford Edge, uh, on uh, Ford Explorer, uh, Taurus, quite a few Ford Lincoln vehicles guys, that's one of the most popular engines and I think it was in top 10 for the most reliable engines as well. So. Camshaft position actuator guys, okay, you have two of them, okay, one is right here on this cylinder head and one is, okay, back there, okay, on the on the other cylinder head. Now, if you have the 3.7 with the double uh, variable gears guys, okay, you have two of those per each cylinder head, on the 3.5 we have a single one. And now guys. Uh, how you know which side is bank 1, bank 2? Bank 1 is on the back side of the engine towards the windshield. This is where cylinder number 1, 2 and 3 are. And this is bank 2, cylinder 4, 5 and 6. So the one that we have problems with, okay, it's this sensor, okay, right here. And if you need to buy one, guys, okay, we will have uh, the link in the description of the video below. Please check it out for your convenience, guys, where we get them from for a good price, very affordable and fast shipping as well. Now in order to replace it guys, you have to remove the intake, upper intake manifold and you have to remove your uh, valve cover as well. We have the video on the channel, check it out, it explains all that from start to finish. Uh, it's on Ford, Edge is the same way as on Lincoln, uh, most of the Lincoln vehicles. So check it out guys, you will explain it uh, in very very good detail so you know how to replace it. And uh, we'll go ahead replace ours and see if that fixes the problem today. So we replaced our camshaft position actuator, now we'll go inside. Okay, we're going inside now guys, and we'll see if uh, that will okay, fix uh, the problem now. I'll turn the ignition on, and uh, we'll go ahead and reset the code now. So our scanner guys, it's still connected, I'll go back. I'll go back one more, and then we'll click erase codes here. Okay, here is done. Press any key to continue. I'll go ahead, actually, what I'll do. Ah, come on, go back. We just need to, I, I want to go back and want to make sure that the code is not there. Stored codes, no codes found, and I'll start the car now. 
I'll let it run for a little bit now, make sure it's there for a few more seconds. Okay, nothing. And I'll click pending codes. If there is something, guys, it will pop up there pretty quick. No pending codes. So, most likely, guys, just that's all. I fixed our problem. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.